This is gone, and guess what's going to replace this? I'm gonna have to eat here next time. Greetings from Beacon Hill. The Beacon Hill neighborhood. North Beacon Hill to be exact. In this video I'm going to give you a walking tour of this neighborhood. Located about two miles south of downtown Seattle. Downtown Seattle straight ahead you can see the Columbia Tower there at 12 o'clock. And uh, also give you a give you my review of milk drunk which is a restaurant that I just passed gonna give you a review and the review is right here here's a review I'm gonna show it to you we're gonna go back in time 10 minutes the review is of their chicken burger that they sell chicken sandwich rather what oh, chicken burger that's right chicken burger yeah Sandwich, burger, same thing, right? Um, I'll tell you what I think about it, because I didn't say much in the video, but I think their burger is, is good. It's great. Double fried. All their burgers are double fried. Now, what does double fried mean? It just means that they're fried and refried. <laughs> Here, let me show you the video. Double fried chicken burger. This is the original. All right, let's give it a bite and see what this burger has on Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Super delicious and crispy. Wow. So yeah, how does it stack up to Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A is, of course, the gold standard for chicken burgers. Chicken sandwiches, right? The gold standard, according to me anyway. It's my absolute favorite uh, chicken sandwich. And one of the things I, that I like about Chick-fil-A uh, sandwiches is the fact that they put a lot of msg <laughs> in their burgers i think they put it in, in the butter that goes in the uh goes in the bun and their buns are real nice and soft i like that so uh how 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 does a chicken sandwich at milk drunk which milk drunk by the way is known for their um soft serve ice cream in fact i had no idea that they sold chicken sandwiches there I'm gonna call it chicken sandwiches, it sounds better. Um, until my friend told me that, oh man, you gotta go try their chicken sandwiches there because they are really good. And so uh, I can check that off my bucket list. So how does it stack up though? Well, apples and oranges. It's apples and oranges. Um, I like their burger, but it, you know, it's a $13 burger. So it's twice the price of a chick, roughly, right? Twice the price of a Chick-fil-A um, chicken sandwich. I keep going back and forth between sandwich and burger. Forgive me, okay? Anyway, that's what I think about their burger. It's good. I'll go back. I started with the original, you know, uh, because I wanted a baseline. They have, they have several other chicken sandwiches there. Now, I'll go and eventually try all of them. 13, I think, was the most expensive. Most of their burgers are $10. Anyway, I am across the street from the Beacon Hill Link Light Rail Station. That's what it, it looks like today. And then over there, that's the um, the station coffee shop. That's actually one of my favorite coffee shops in South Seattle. For Americanos anyway, I go there and I get Americano. It's, it's a nice place. The guy that owns it, real nice guy. They do a lot of really good stuff in the community. Uh, they have seating inside, outside as well. Customer, customer service is always fine. 
it's good so anyway walking northbound along beacon avenue here taking a quick afternoon walk after my sandwich this is going to be a shorter video for a walking tour video oh look at that building wow i was wondering what they were doing with it i thought that they were going to tear it down and um and that uh, you know like a condo or something was gonna replace it but it looks like they're actually renovating it it used to be a I believe it was a salon like a hair salon uh, I actually read the um, the notice that was on that fence I, I, for, I forget what it said but um, they're renovating it and then it's gonna be something else let me know in the comments if you know the details on that it's an interesting building looks like it's uh, it used to be brown I think now it looks like it's blue or aqua blue and white anyway across the street from um, Bank of America so this video is somewhat of a, a an update video I've done this walk before I think two years ago I, I did this walk but North Beacon Hill has changed a lot you'll see what I mean once I get up I, uh, I get up there a block from here there's a great big building that was recently scraped <laughs> that building actually housed a pretty good Mexican restaurant for most or for many folks I think it was a good you know people spoke highly of that place I, it, it, a lot of this is subjective a lot of people really like their Mexican food there I uh, personally I just never really um uh, well like his shirt hug dealer wow I like that hug dealer you should go and give him a hug I for one never really liked their food there all that much and the place I'm talking about was in that building that well the building that's not there anymore but uh, it's in that lot there so I'm gonna walk that way show you what gas prices are like there's two gas stations straight ahead there's a Union 76 and a Shell gas station uh, and that Shell gas station many people believe that that um, gas station has the absolute best uh, gas station food in town good fried chicken good um, I, I think they still have it they have like gizzards and stuff there what else do they have there they have a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff in there actually I think they have like pizza pockets and that sort of thing in there too um, and across the street there is a golden daisy restaurant dim sum and barbecue it's a good place to order barbecue uh, pork and duck and that sort of thing from that place well this light is taking forever maybe it might help if I, if I push this button huh what do you think Wait. let me know in the comments if you think this will help Intersection of Beacon Avenue okay well, I'm still waiting I'm still waiting I might have to jaywalk I'm not gonna jaywalk I don't I'm not gonna jaywalk that's illegal okay so let's cross the street here Beacon Hill Nutrition I don't come to this side of the um, the street very often this side here but well you know it's not like I'm wa it's not like I'm walking these sidewalks every day and uh, here you can get poke poke I've not tried poke here but I will that way I don't have to go all the way to Chinatown which is not far okay so this is the lot here check this out in my other video you'll see that I walked up to this block and I showed you the building that used to be here and there's a Mexican restaurant here I forget the name of that Mexican restaurant there was also like a video store maybe one or two other businesses but this is gone and guess what's going to replace this probably like a you know some condos with retail below you know residential above retail below that sort of thing so that guy's sunbathing no shirt shirt is off chilling at the bus stop in the sun 
So Union 76, gas price $4.99 for regular unleaded. And if you cross the street, you get to pay more, $4.39 a gallon for regular. Let's go ahead and walk up to uh, this gas station here, Shell. I'm not gonna do a food review in this video of uh, the food mart here at Shell, but maybe one day I will. So yeah, if you go inside, you know, open the door, go inside, boom, left hand side, all that deli food will be right there. Some of the best in the city. I think I could have gotten a whole lot more for my for my uh, for my money there. I spent twenty five dollars at lunch at the chicken place because I got a chicken sandwich and I got a drink and then I pay tax and then I give a 20% tip $25 yesterday lunch was $20 and 17 cents and actually what I had for lunch yesterday was a um, here's a um, market by the way um, what I had for lunch yesterday was pokey at the fish guys in the central district 23rd corner of 23rd and jackson yeah it came out to less than twenty dollars and seventeen cents twenty dollars and seventeen cents included tax and uh or twenty percent fifteen or twenty one of the two that's what i usually will tip if it's just mediocre service fifteen um if it's you know good or great service twenty sometimes more if it's crappy service then 15 because you can't really tip less than 15 <laughs> 15 in most places and if you don't tip at all then um i don't know they might remember you and spit in your food next time or something so i always got to tip at least 15 right it's the american way it's the american way you got to tip 15 percent all right now i'm going to take us to uh, el centro de la raza And uh, in the Beacon Hill School here. El Centro de la Raza is like a community center. They do a lot of good work around race and equity. And contrary to what many might think, they actually uh, work with a lot of different communities just because it's El Centro de la Raza doesn't mean that they help just, you know, any particular community. And this is the uh, Cesar Chavez demonstration garden, apparently. I've always seen it, but I didn't know that it actually had a, it had a, um, it had that name. It's a hot day today, it's hot. It's like eight, 80 some degrees. It's hot. It's been, it's been an amazing August. A lot of people around here complain. I, I complain sometimes. I try to, uh, I try to keep it to a minimum, because I know that as a uh, Seattleite, that the, the sun and heat is not going to be around for very long. But it has been a rather hot summer. July was hot. Right now we're in August. Has been mostly hot, but I welcome it. I, I I love it because again, I know that a month, two months for sure, two months from now. Because sometimes we actually have a pretty nice September around here. Two months from now in October, and sometimes October will be kind of nice. Let's say November. Three months from now, we're gonna look back and be like, man, I sure could use 80 degree weather right now. <laughs> So savor the moment. All right, so this plaza here. Um, so now we're at El Centro de la Raza. This plaza here, Courtyard Plaza. There's some awesome um, like food carts and stuff that are here. And I was told that there's actually a place here that sells ceviche that is like the best ceviche in all of Seattle. <gasps> I think this is it. This is it. Oh, he's here today. This is him, I think. Yes, Shark Bite Ceviche. Oh, man. 
This is it. $17 for the halibut, $12. $12. I'm gonna have to eat here next time. Oh, that's awesome. I could have gotten ceviche instead of double fried chicken sandwich. Got a chicken sandwich. Are there, so sometimes there'll be um, other food, food carts here as well. There's just that one today. And then if you don't like ceviche or any of the food offerings, I think they also sell pizza here. You can get um, tacos here at Tacos Chukis. This is, this is my go-to place for tacos in the South End. Uh, this is one of their several restaurants. They have one, two, I think four locations actually. So this is the Beacon Hill location. For South Seattle, this is where you would go. This is where you would go. And uh, there's an ATM right there. You can yank out some money if you need some, some money. And Seattle Credit Union right here, right next to the Station Coffee Shop. There it is. All right, let's cross the road and give you an up close and personal look at the Beacon Hill Link Light Rail Station. Look at all this beautiful bamboo. I love bamboo. You know, bamboo is one of those things that, you know, you gotta accept it for what it is. Bamboo is like a weed. If you're gonna put bamboo in your yard, you just gotta know what it, you know, what it has a. Um, what it can do, you know, what it's capable of. And what it's capable of is it's capable of taking over your whole damn yard. Somebody left some tuna fish. Is that tuna fish? Salmon. Ooh, pink salmon. Boneless and skinless. Wow. Why would you do that? That's food. Maybe somebody just left it there temporarily. Or maybe someone left it there for someone to take home so they can enjoy it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, let me look at the airplane because Beacon Hill is um, to the east of Boeing Field. So, uh, and then SeaTac Airport is not far from here either. So there's gonna be a lot of planes going going by this area. If you look to the west, you're gonna see, constantly see airplanes. Yeah, like Boeing airplanes as well as like uh, um, SeaTac. Airplanes going to SeaTac International Airport. And SeaTac stands for Seattle Tacoma. SeaTac is short for Seattle Tacoma. That's right. I know I didn't mention that place that's next to Milk Drunk when we began this journey. That's just because I was walking too fast and couldn't talk fast enough. Parahelion. Parahelia. Parahelio. Parahelion. Parahelion. I think that's how you say it. It's a good place for drinks and food. Um, I would say that they have an awesome happy hour there, but they don't have happy hour anymore. They used to, but it's it's a good place for food and drinks nonetheless. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this video by by mentioning three coffee places in this area. The station's one of them. There's also this place here: fresh flowers, fine pastries, and and coffee. And there is one more, which is two, maybe two and a half blocks south of here. I'm not gonna walk all the way to there, but um, it's Victrola Coffee. It's, uh, it's pretty good coffee. <laughs> it's pretty good, they're all pretty good coffee. My favorite though, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know which one's my fa favorite is, is the station. They have the strongest coffee for an Americano. It tastes the best. And uh, it's, it's a nice place to sit and chill. Victrola, their coffee is not as strong. It's smooth as silk still, but um, lately I've been unhappy with the cups that they use there. Maybe that's changed. The last two times I went there, the, the cups reminded me of cups that I got when I would travel internationally more. They're a little bit well, the places that I, I went to, they were a little bit flimsy. And I would just spill coffee all over myself. You know, it's like you, 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 you grab the coffee and the lid pops off. And then there goes your white, sh you know, white shirt and everything else. Right? Anyway, I'm uh, going to end the video here where the journey sort of began.
in front of uh, the Seattle Public Library, Beacon Hill, a branch. And say thank you for watching this video and walking with me. If you want you some good chicken sandwich and a double fried chicken sandwich at that, check out Milk Drunk. Good place for chicken sandwich and uh, for, um, what is that, for, uh, for drinks as well, but also for soft serve ice cream. All right, everyone. From North Beacon Hill in South Seattle. Take care and I will see you next time. Peace.